The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan, have you seen a little girl? She's seven, black hair. Shall we play a game? Welcome to another episode of Nude yeah! Clan. Yeah! Oh. I am Holy your host, shit. Caleb. I'm your other host, Joe. And this is Cameron. And Caleb Craig. And this is your guest host, Jacob Wright. Who is only on this episode out of the grace of his god, myself. <laughs> but now he also played through Silent Hill, which is, of course, what we're reviewing since Caleb Craig finally decided to show up. Finally, to review his game. Yeah, dude, he he a lot. I had stomach flu the week, like a few days before he did. Yeah, and you were here. I was. Well, he yeah. was like at the tail end of it, though. I, like, I was one. at the very beginning. I just want to say <laughs> when it's when it's me who needs to show up a little late. Hey guys, you know I have this thing going on. I still want to do this thing. Can we do it a little later? And Joe's like, No, fuck you. If it's Caleb, it's like, Yeah, if you spot me some gas money, we can do it later. Well, no, Cameron. Here's the situation with today. <laughs> Is that um, it's Caleb's game? It's Caleb's game to review, and right. we already pushed it a week. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And if well, he had done that, and then you said you couldn't come because he had done that, I would have been okay with it. Oh, right. Because it would have been like a yeah, yeah. That's not okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so plus, I let them know in advance instead of like two you hours let them before. Know this <laughs> morning, you let me know at like seven a.m. Admittedly, behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, before we get into Silent Hill, what's everybody been playing? Well, Schweiss, I have been playing Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings. And uh, so far, is, it's Is that fun. how you say that? I'm on Chapter 4 of 10, and I will happily add it to my Nude Clan hog when I finally finish it. Okay. Yeah. Is that it? Is that what you've been playing? Uh, I think that has... I've looked at... Um, a certain game that I believe we're you, playing you next. Looked at? I have I have looked at it. I have considered it, but I have not. I don't believe I have touched any other game this week. Okay, uh, Cameron, what about you? So I've played uh, Neverwinter and Battlefield One, and that's pretty much what I've been playing um, since ne- uh, Battlefield One came out. But um, remember last time I said if people on Twitter or in whatever else told me what games to play, I'd play them. So I have suggestions for two games I'm trying to pull up right here. Um, but yeah, I have two extra games that I can go for that I'm going to try to play this upcoming week along with the game that won the Stick of Truth. Hmm. What what game won? We're not allowed to say yet. Oh, I didn't oh, even know. We're not ready. ready for the group game. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get into that after we're done with the circle. Ooh. Can yeah. we bleep that out? <laughs> Can we have just like a little bleep? Pit, the, 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 bleep well, yeah. <laughs> well, now that we're talking about it, they're going to be like, what the fuck are they talking about? Anyway. Uh-huh. Go ahead, yeah. Caleb. It builds the anticipation. Um, I have been playing uh, some Battlefield 1, some uh, Silent Hill, um, and I've been playing... Whoa, wait, uh, wait. Arkham- what? You've been playing Silent Hill I'm since I'm reporting last for episode. two weeks. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, Fuck you. All right. First of all, <laughs> I was going to say you didn't beat it, huh? Hmm. Interesting I beat time it to get sick last week. Oh, all right. that's sick. hilarious. Can't review. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. And then uh, I've been playing uh, World of Final Fantasy. And how is uh, that? It's all right. So I've watched it. Right? Okay. Watched so the characters just... are fucking awful. The dude, the main character, is a fucking moron. Like, literally the dumbest person on the planet. Oh, he's... And so, oh, he's right for you. Yeah, he's relatable, no, is what no. you're saying. Are you sure it's not just because you're playing it? No, I mean, you might enjoy him, Joe, but because he makes jokes like you do. Oh, fuck you. But, uh... <laughs> 
But yeah, he's a dumbass. His sister's a bitch, and then they have like a retarded mascot character. I that hope adds you're not the running word. for president anytime soon. Man. They're gonna find this episode. They're gonna tear you apart. Oh yeah, like you want to run for president and all the the shit that you say. I yeah. I, I, I seem to recall it. some stuff that you probably wouldn't want people knowing. I just say, you know what? <laughs> if you find it, if you meet Hips. a woman, all you need to do is grab him by the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I have tons of money. Don't care what anyone says about you, or have your your political side and then your personal side. Then, of course, you. Can I've heard that's how they shake hands. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Pleased to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Twist it, bop it, oh. <laughs> bop it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it, it's other than the uh, the retarded characters, it's um, it's got an interesting story and the gameplay is pretty fun. What right. have I said that's uh, that's not like that's worse than what you said? I, I I've said uh, things that are because I probably said retarded a lot, and I've probably said someone's a bitch. I remember there being something about some black lady that like had half pants. All right, all right. that oh. Caitlin got oh, mad at oh. you for. I just that was on the big show too. I yeah. just said that she <laughs> was black. I I described her as black. That is, I don't it's, believe describing someone as black is racist. I didn't no. actually I listen said to the episode. The white guy on the corner with the half leg thing. Believe me, equally as stupid. Well, that's not what they gave you shit about. They gave you shit about it being a cultural thing that you didn't know. Oh, well, you either were... way, those pants are fucking stupid and I don't give a shit. No, nah, all right. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, man, those were the worst-looking pants I've ever seen. Yeah, I, well, it was only really half pants, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. It was the worst three-quarter pants <laughs> yeah. I've ever seen. Uh, and then someone said it was racist, but I don't believe that it was. I don't... It was less about her race and more about the pants. <laughs> As it uh, was, by the way, I have rail Titus on wearing the same pants. Yeah, Titus has some pretty retarded pants. Yeah. Gotta love the khakis. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this, this Final Fantasy characters wear the most, like, ridiculous clothing. Easy now. Easy. Only when it's Nomura. Yeah, you? it's only uh, the later ones. That's, uh, it's not only the later ones, but, you know, they're more yeah. noticeable. Because it's they, more noticeable. They're yeah. more extreme. I would yeah. say it is. I was just like watching them stream the World of Final Fantasy and I'm like, I'd be really embarrassed to have someone watch me play oh, no, this man. game. Amano, really bad, Amano man. created the Vaughn vest, so uh, let's yeah. get some pass. That. Did he do that? Yeah. No, oh, that's like the worst thing in twelve. <laughs> yeah, Everything else is great. Everything else is. Although like the vest does, fine. the vest does make sense though. You just, yeah, it's some sort of clothing, and it's hot as hell. But yeah, of course, I would just like go. Around. Sorry, you find the vest hot? No, they live, oh, they yeah. live in the middle hot of a desert. desert. Yeah, oh, that sounded really fucking gay. <laughs> no, uh, I mean like, I just love that vest. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's <laughs> hot. It's, it's, hot it's, 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 it's a yeah. hot place. That he lives, <laughs> therefore a tiny vest yeah, makes sense. Yeah, he, he does live in like God the middle forbid. of a desert. God forbid he's not draped head to toe. Yeah, in that kind of weather. But of course, the vest. Why even have it? Why not just go around shirtless? I mean, come on. No, that's what he really. You got wants. spray tan uh, abs. Show them off, right? <laughs> yes. Are you playing anything else, Greg? Um, if you I'm like halfway that. through Arkham City. Colon um, three thousand. And and uh, Arkham Asylum as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fuck you. How many times are you going to play those fucking games? Every year, because he's a dickhole. Uh, as long every as there's year? trophies. Yeah. No, I, I haven't played them in like two years, and then they made the... Uh, oh, so long. <laughs> well, before that, I played them when they came out, and then uh, they just released the uh, Return to Arkham, which is their uh, HD update for the PS4, so I decided to play and stream that. Who cares? All right. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of these HD updates to HD games. I think it's a bad cash grab. Well, it's more it of is, a point, really. It's and just... tell me, is there really enough of a difference to have a whole new purchase of the game? I don't think it's about that. I think so, it's about playing it on your most recent console. Because some people get rid of their consoles. Right. Cody was said he was playing it on the PC. Yeah, I don't get it for free on the PC. He's like, eh, it's not really worth it. He wouldn't pay for it at yeah. all. The updated version of Skyrim. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah you get it uh, free. On the Steam. Yeah, I, yeah, I got it free on Steam. As well as the Bioshock games. They came uh, 
with an HD update on Steam as well for free. Yeah, I'm not going to play them again, so that kind of sucks, but I could. You could. <laughs> Jake, what have you been playing? I've been playing Darksiders and a little bit of the greatest game of all time, Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> Is that oh, the greatest God. game of all time? No. No? Okay. By no means. All right, all right. Are you going to platinum it? Hell no. Oh, come have on. Have you seen that thing? <laughs> No, I haven't. It is atrocious. Well, I, is I know the game is, yes. but... It is. I know nothing about I, it. I, I only, only want to do one playthrough, get one point for the nude clan hog, and be done with it. All right. <laughs> is that it? That is it. Damn. All right, so I have been playing Battlefield 1. I finally got my trophies to unlock. They uh, fixed the glitch. So I had my two golds unlock and my one silver for playing multiplayer, so doing awesome did on the they trophies. Did they fix the glitch or did you just find a way around it? Because I th- thought you said you uh, had to level them up like another level. That was one it. potential fix, but I logged oh. in and right when I started loading into the map, it gave them to me. Oh, it gave it to you? Okay. So, so they did patch it? Yeah, they did. So good job, EA. I don't have to yell at you on Twitter this time. Um, yeah, see, it's I more played, of a dice thing. It's kind of EA both of them. Thing. EA has a responsibility when they're publishing a game to make sure they're publishing something that works. <laughs> Especially when they uh, what? when they yeah, force but EA doesn't Do- care about that. Well, they and should. dice should know better. They Stuart dice should know better. I would yell at both. But you know what, SimCity that was EA's fault because plenty That's, of people played SimCity. Are you before saying it that EA out. can fuck up? Yeah, they all the Jeez, time. That's that's crazy. So bad, it's like implying that they haven't ever. So ever. bad that they gave me a sixty dollar game for free. That's how bad they fucked Ooh. up. <laughs> wow. And it was awesome. I loved the game. Yeah. Um, so let's see. I've been playing that. I played some a little bit of that, a uh, little bit of South Park Stick of Truth. For some reason, I just felt inclined to pick it up. <laughs> for some reason, yeah. Mm. I played about an hour and a half. It's awesome. Yeah, I think is. you can talk about why South Park Stick of Truth if you're wrapping up there, Schweiss. Why are we playing South Park Stick of Truth? Well, we did a last minute Twitter poll because the Wheel of Time game is a piece of shit and won't play unless we <laughs> emulate Windows, which I'm not fucking doing. I'm not going to. I don't have room on this computer to do any kind of bullshit like that. There's no room on this fucking hard drive. So I'm not doing it. It's, We're fucking ixnaying the, the Wheel of you Time. You have a terabyte hard drive. How does it not have the space? It's full. It is full. Dude, it's because the past versions of Windows, I can't get rid of system files. The program won't let me. <laughs> oh, my what? God. Yeah, so there's, like, different iterations of me installing this version of Windows, and they're, it won't let me get rid of them, so they're taking up all that space. Plus, I just have <laughs> well, a shitload of stuff on if here. If it was legit, <laughs> just shell out the hundred or so dollars. It doesn't matter. It would do the it. same thing, Cameron. No, no, it would. It's just a new instance of it. Although there are there's people... There's definitely going to be a fix for this. Well, yeah. it's a... Uh, it's not like it doesn't of, exist. There's software I can download, but I have to pay for it. And <laughs> some of the stuff I've been able to delete, but other stuff... I think you should be system. able to go through... I would back up all the files that you really want and go ahead and go through the DOS uh, command. And just wipe? Key and wipe. I Fresh could do that, stuff. yeah. I know you can do that. Uh, that I know, yeah. And that will wipe it. I have another hard drive, though, so I could throw it in. Another thing I was looking at, though, is that the actual latest version of Windows plays games a lot better than what version you're running. Well, I've seen seen side-by-side tests of it, yeah. That doesn't mean that it will run Wheel of Time. Yeah, which is really what we're getting into. It'll be enough space to run an emulator to run Wheel of Time. But it's too late. (laughs) So we did an emergency Twitter poll, and South Park Stick of Truth blew away. We did an emergency Twitter poll of games we knew were really short. Yeah. (laughs) And catered to Joe's availability of the game. Cue in for me busy one night, and then Joe's calling. Hey, what's up? Uh, You need to nominate a new game. We can't do Wheel of Time. Uh, what game do you want? I'm like, oh, fuck. And he's like, well, we can do these games. I'm like, yeah, let's do, fuck it, stick of truth. I know it's going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Nightfire had a strong start, but... Nightfire will up. live on. Oh, Caleb Craig didn't answer my shit, so it was like... Yeah, because you Nightfire. called me at like 8 and it was 7 oh, and yeah. I had to oh work. Oh, my God, 8 p.m. <laughs> Dude, when I got a 7 o'clock bedtime, I got a 7 o'clock bedtime. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right, little guy. That's what I'm saying, man. I got to to it. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, yeah, that's why we're playing that, and I've gotten about an hour and a half-ish into that. Uh, Revenant Wings, I've played like 16 hours of. It's sick, dude. I've 
I had been bringing it to work and have been playing it <laughs> at times when I probably shouldn't. <laughs> no. But no one sees me, so it's okay. Yeah, that's right. That's why. That's how you know it's okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, plus I'm getting my if job. No done. one can see you. Yeah. Then it's all all right. right. You're only guilty if you get caught. <laughs> <laughs> I'm innocent until proven guilty. So God if I'm never busted. Everything. You can get away with that work. It's just ridiculous. It reminds me of Christian. I think Caleb. Who fucking yeah. just plays yes. Civilization at work? <laughs> no, yeah, I can't do though. that. The computers suck too bad, and the internet is, it's horrible. But uh, I think the free Google Fiber Internet is better than the stuff we have at work. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did bad. a speed test, and it was like 1.2. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, what is wrong with you people? Like, get some fucking internet in here. We're a company that deals with things where we need tools on you, the internet. You don't need that much bandwidth for just a tweet here or there, you know? Just uh, the, the five books. tweets a day that you send Forgot out. Forgot the graphically heavy quick You do, books. though. <laughs> yeah, well, Would you it's... like to play QuickBooks multiplayer? Yeah. <laughs> No, it's it's bad though. It's too slow. But so I can't play or Civ, unfortunately. Um, let's see what else have I been doing. Um, I don't know if there's any other games other than Battlefield. <sighs> well, did anybody beat a game this week? Yes. I did not. No, that was assumed. But you did. Yeah, I did. I beat two actually. What'd you beat? I beat Silent Hill and Batman Arkham Asylum. Yeah, that shit twice. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. The paper of doom. Just remember that. I, I've looked at the charts when you guys were doing this years before the podcast. And now look at this chart. Yeah, it's it's a lot more. <laughs> I guess when, it, when it's being recorded for people, like, yeah. you will use the hog you, you stash You gotta go for it. Yeah. It's a pride. All right, so Jake is still beating you by a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and I think he does count now that he's been on two episodes. Oh. No, he doesn't count. It's legit- <laughs> he's legitimized. No. Just for you, Craig. No, you guys gave me shit for, like, playing the, the mini games, and then he's got, like, fucking seven of them on his list. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but no, we'll, we'll just praise him for the amount of games, and we're not going to give him any kind of shit for playing that half-hour game. Well, he's not a host that's abusing his power. <laughs> he's just a guest. You're going to play that game. Then he doesn't You're going to lose in it. That's all. If you want to put a new stipulation, then we'll go for it. Yeah, you just you just don't care. So the no one of free time. Is. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is true. Uh, All right, so no one else beat anything. I should then? be I winning. <laughs> I beat yeah, Darksiders. Oh, you beat Darksiders? Yep. All right, so what are you the at? First one, thirty-five. All right, so Jeez. Jake's leading the way at thirty-five, but for the hosts, Caleb Craig, still King Hog, sitting at twenty-seven games beaten. I am second yeah. place at twenty-four. Cameron, did you didn't you beat the Battlefield one? Oh yeah, I fucking beat the campaign. So Jesus Christ, a side a side thing on the campaign though, it didn't really feel like I played a full game. Like I don't think does that qualify as beating Battlefield One or should yeah, I you beat the campaign, get enough yeah. trophies? No, that's the campaign. Uh, the campaign okay comprises of six stories where you get to play a character in individual stories. I mean the concept's amazing. You get to have a little slice of Battlefield One a story for slice it. of life. A little, a little little description <laughs> of what it of went heaven. here, but each story was so short. I think I only spent about I w- maybe I'll say I'll give it a generous eight hours that I spent playing that's a, the story. That's a pretty regular shooter yeah, length average FPS. But I really think if I didn't die as much, I probably spent like six. Six hours on it, maybe a little less. Still, there's Kinda some short. real short. Yeah. No, I believe it, and um, that's going to be our next group game after. The, I uh, hope, I hope though that they come out with more. Truth. Yeah, with more of the story. All right, so I'm excited to get to it. I'm the it's only. Good. I'm the only one unemployed here and have no income whatsoever. It's short but sweet. So definitely, definitely a good game. I can't afford Battlefield. I can't wait till one of you guys is done with the game and I can borrow it. <laughs> a digital copy. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, can you please deactivate my account as, off of your PS4 as a? I already did that. Wait, wait, wait. The, damn it! Then who still has my my account on their PS4? You, you know what's funny about all this? Caleb Caleb does. God damn it! Caleb. Everyone bought it digitally, Joe. No oh, one has fuck a physical you guys. copy. <laughs> <laughs> no one. Can't suck it, bitch. Caleb and I had to to get the early enlisters thing. Yeah, we did. <laughs> 
All I so, hear is blah, blah, blah. Fuck you, Joe. Get blah, a fucking blah. job. Get I, blah, blah. I, I have never had so much trouble finding a job. It's that Obama. The reason I didn't leave my pizza job is because there were problems finding other jobs that could fit my school schedule. And now that I don't have either the pizza job uh, or any other source of income whatsoever... I am now in a situation where I still can't find the job, only now I don't have a job as yeah. well. One thing I find funny, though, is while he had the pizza job, he didn't want anyone to know he had the pizza job. But now he's unemployed. He's fine with telling everyone. Well, it's okay. It's <laughs> a pass. I don't have the pizza. It's less embarrassing. Yeah. And like, unemployment for him is better to talk about than actually having a job it because is. it's a pizza it job. It is 100%. <laughs> I'm unemployed. <laughs> Someone help me! <laughs> well, I was, I was I'm gonna a full-time be, student. I was gonna be fine with unemployment until the short film came up. That yeah, it's gonna come up short on its funds, and so now it's like, oh shit! I need money. I is this a type money. of Kickstarter campaign? If you don't make your goal, then all the money no. goes back. No, no, okay. no, it's not. We get what we get, but um, we still have to. And make we don't throw a fit. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, let's see. Third place. So. That's a good saying. I've never heard that before. That's, really? Yeah, You've never, never my that sister is I all day. I grew up hearing yeah, that. That's a, the, yeah. like uh, everywhere. That's a I always heard. I always heard just no free meals. That's that's the, it means the same fucking thing. But like, mm, yeah. Do you get uh, when you do, don't throw a fit, and then beggars can't be choosers. Those beggars just, can't be choosers. Those go in tandem. Those beggars tandem. can't be choosers is the one I'm, I'm not talking about. No, that's a totally different thing. But beggars can't be choosers is a free meal. Uh, there is no such thing as a free meal though. Or it's like yeah, yeah. that's that's there's, pretty there's much a price for everything. That's pretty yeah. much the same thing. It's all you yeah. need to eat your goddamn food. Yeah. All right, so uh, third place in the nude Klein hog is Joe, chilling at fourteen games and then bringing up the rear. You should be ashamed, Cameron. Cameron double digits, ten oh, games. Oh man, yeah. And you know what? He's gonna have twelve by the end of the year. I know, dude. Oh, that's man. more games on pace. Here, man. One a month. Because he's gonna have South Park, and then he's gonna have the next game. No, actually, like I was mentioning before, I'm gonna try to get those camp, camp. two extra games that are suggested to me on Twitter done. Because um, I don't know, because they told me to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I, I can't play games that aren't part of a podcast. <laughs> Unless it's Prince of Persia, and I know I can platinum it in seven hours, <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. I'm playing the fuck out of it. So, yeah, that's where we sit, and uh, fun, st- fun times. Fun times. So, do you want to talk about what game won for Cameron and Joe? <sighs> let's, uh, let's discuss what happened, first of all. What the fuck happened? Uh, well, there's something. a fucking hacker in there. That's what it looks like. Well, it's not hacking. Honestly, it's, it's not that hard to do what You can that just cycle did. IP addresses. Right, you like can just use a fucking proxy day. server, and you can just go through different... Yeah, but who wants us to play Armored Core for whatever I don't bad. know. Maybe yeah. one guy, or maybe it's a last, time, game. last time... You it's got like a 60. To, last time you went to the Twitter and it's then did fun. this. Hey, vote on this game, then it blew up last time, that one time, too. And so I don't know if it's just the bots on Twitter that go, oh, let's go I do mean, this real fast. And there was them. one no. time where we had more people vote than we had listeners. Yeah. In the episode. <laughs> no, Cameron, I don't think the I don't think the Twitter one's fake. That one's not because you can only okay. vote once, and yeah. I can't vote. I just have like four hundred and eighty Twitter, Twitter followers to do it, and right. a lot of them listen. Like we have a good following <laughs> on Twitter. So um, well, I'm, I'm starting to I'm starting to like have a change of heart about just using Twitter. Yeah, because yeah. you have to I have an account. I told you guys let's the do problem, Twitter, but you were like, I don't no. remember you being the one. I think, yeah, I think I was. I was like, guys, me. we should have Twitter too. So we can. Well, you said Twitter too. Yeah, it forces the, the one on in addition as, as well. Yeah, I was the first one to fucking say that, bitch. Yeah, but that makes. And I say it's stupid, uh, bitch. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, it is because people cycle their fucking IP addresses and make. It armored core for answer and win. then you have the one on twitter as a backup okay. so that the other one can just fuck off do you it's know not a backup it's a replacement do you know exactly. any listener that voted for armored core yes there were several there that were at least two or yeah. three no so now it comes that, down to then. do we honor it like we have every other time even though we know it's bullshit i think we have to honor it and then change the system what what system is Armored Core for PS3. Android? PS3 or Xbox 360. Yeah, okay. we can get it. Yeah. It's a playable game. Do you know that I am broke? Yes, I do know that you are broke. <laughs> so 360 it is? Uh, <laughs> so I want to be here and pick it up, Cameron, and knock it out and then load it to show? It's a game that's where you... I wish I would have bought Cody's 360. God I have to see how you it. beat it again because... 
you have to beat certain things and you unlock certain items for doing it, but then you can play a different type of story and lock certain things for doing that too. So I'm wondering if we should just go Joe Core only and a beat is a beat <laughs> or do the separate different things you can do. Down you know, as soon as I, you hit credits, you win. It still pisses me off that this thing won though. I don't buy it. Like I really don't. And it's, it's annoying, and I think we're going to end up pulling the fucking votes because I'm tired of people cheating it. I don't want to run a show where it's just some one prick gets the game he wants because he keeps re- going through and recycling his I mean, IP I address. I appreciate the the want. Yeah, but it's stupid. That's not the whole purpose of it. Uh, but yeah, it's I agree totally with you. Unfair. Follow think, Rome, man. You guys are abusing your we need your to power. Update, I think we need to update the process for the voting, but I think we should honor it for now. Yeah, I don't. I'm not going to put up another poll on the side. Armored, Armored Core for answer is the winner, and um, it should not have beaten Mass Effect. No, it there's no, no fucking means. way. I mean, it was Fable, no way. Fable and Mass Effect were neck and neck for a little bit until fucking Armored I, I Core. I can yeah. believe, and then Armored Core in the course of two hours went from like two votes to twenty something. Yeah, that's it's fucking ridiculous. bullshit. Yeah, and can you see the IP addresses of people who vote? No, no, nope. I can't. Okay. But I guarantee you someone was cycling through it. I could do that at work. I can change my VPN code. All you have to do over is and over again. In, into incognito mode. You can vote as many times as you want. Yeah, so I'm I'm not going to do it real? anymore. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I I, teach I think them, we Cameron, should uh, teach them. Well, it do, it doesn't keep cookies or anything so you, yeah. or like anything so you can just um, like yeah. go onto incognito, go to And you know with incognito. our big with our big RPG podcast, there's no reason why Mass Effect would lose to Armored Core. Sure, they're both... Uh, or even Armored Core too. is, like, Japanese, I it's guess, rigged. is the only thing. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's what's going to lose rigged. in the beginning. It's rigged. So you know if I lose, it's, it's because it's rigged. That's a pretty... The biased media. Your Trump is worse than my Trump. I'm not even trying that hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, because... But yeah, rigged. no, uh, I say we just do it on Twitter from now on. All Fuck right. the site. You know, we'll send it to a. <laughs> we, we wanted to use our site as a place for you know. Someone just needs to get a picture with Caleb, and then this the emblem. Fuck the site. Uh, I say before we give up, I think we should just. I, there are other poll programs. I don't think they can dodge this though. Yeah, there's, there's no some, way for them to dodge it. The can. one that WordPress.com used when we had the old site seemed to work fine. I don't know. Um, I don't think you can because it's it's just an IP address. It's it counts it as a different device. There's no way around. And then that. if you think about it, I know it's kind of a pain in the ass with Twitter. You can just create accounts to go vote. Yeah, that would be a well. That would be a pain I in mean, the ass can, though. But. That's that's a different story uh, to the to someone who wants what? his armored core. That that's just a little a little inconvenience inconvenience for him. Is there a WordPress app that even would if force you to log in first before voting? Um, I. Th- there may be I don't know yet that'd I be say, a lot harder to confirm the email right. address they would have to have to, a in view of Twitter they would have to, to have a, a WordPress user but the same thing yeah. with Twitter you have to have a Twitter account if someone's gonna make like six Twitters I mean how we can't avoid everything but yeah, the site fucking yeah, makes no six no Twitters to vote on a that, game that, you that fucking deserve it that is far worse than just pressing the refresh key and it's a new you you exactly know, yeah. I think there's another lesson here to learn where with this voting thing and where we definitely want a certain game to win and we throw these like throwaway game titles in there it's with it it's not that there's a chance <laughs> they'll just, win I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> this is so <laughs> there was the one time I'm not voted on one I'm not comfortable with where this conversation's going are you saying we rig stuff no never that's not a rig. That's absurd. Oh, this is in the DNC. We're it's playing not like- Armored Core for bullshit, okay? We are playing the whatever the fuck that game is. Yeah. We'll play it. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And so you need to beat it in two weeks and then give it to me. I was thinking of borrowing it from the Caleb over here. Do you, you own don't it? have it? You don't have it. I thought you said you have it for the PS3. You asked me and I said no. Oh. Well, I had don't it. Here we go. But then it's gone since. Okay, so gone. neither of us have this game. I'll have to go buy it then on. I was going to play Amazon Mass Effect with you guys. I was going to play it. I well, have Well, now I get to play this wonderful Armored Core for Answer game. The one where mm-hmm. I was faced with this and ethical decision. Good. I know, yeah. Do Armored, I kill millions of people in the Armored sky? Core for Answer is the game. Yep. It is officially the game. Yeah. yeah we, we, will, we will abide by the poll. Yeah. And next time we will figure out our poll problems. 
and we will fix our poll problems. You know, in light of, of decisions like this and then our current political stance in America, should we have a none of the above option in all our polls? I think we need fascism back. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, no, you know what? what? If it playing. keeps getting fucked with like this, we're just going to choose our own games. How about that? <laughs> Let's do an electoral. If you're going to be, to, if you're gonna to be, the people and the people abuse their power. Exactly. That's why it gets taken away. That's exactly what happens. Should That's why do, laws uh, come into place. Because people pin, can't fucking handle it. We could just do pen and paper ballots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have, to, you have to mail, mail it. In. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could fill out a form and email. Yeah, uh, and then we just get like a cardboard box filled with like little notes saying one specific game. No, let's go. Let's go full on, just physical only. You have to mail it postage. Yeah, everything. yeah, postage. <laughs> <laughs> mail us a copy of the game for your vote. Yeah, <laughs> actually, oh, that's a great idea. Awesome <laughs> idea. I feel like no one will go for it, but it's a great idea. <laughs> if you really want us to play it, you mail maybe it that's to us. Something. Maybe that's like a bonus it. game review. Mail us a game you want us to review. <laughs> we'll review it. We it's would definitely fucking do right. it at that point. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like we would, yeah. Okay, what about this? We pick, we pick ten listeners each, right? And those listeners then put up the same poll themselves for the games, and then like an electoral college, it all comes back to us. And we know, uh, based upon this large pool, what, what they want, and then we, we do whatever play. we want. And so their their yeah. popular vote is that, <laughs> and then the popular vote over there is that, and then we just go ahead and elect whatever we want to play. So it's basically yeah. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Don't, yeah, if anybody... Uh, I don't know. I like the mail in thing. That's <laughs> we could do we could do an email contact for the but voting. It's so easy uh, to create new emails. It's, it's so thing. easy to you do that. You can do the same thing. What about mm, ah, you're right. You That's know, why I said physical mail. There's it's no way around it, it really. Yeah. I mean, if a dedicated person wants to send several different, you know, pieces of postage with pay the postage for all of them, then I don't know. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> I think more people have Facebook accounts you could do a Facebook poll if those still work. Yeah, my Facebook sucks, I mean, I though. guess you guys could try to see how corruptible we are and just kind of let's see grease some palms and see what what happens but you know i could have went in i can edit the polls i can change them to whatever i want realize that guys i don't have to do this bullshit if you get paid paid i can edit the fuckers (laughs) and it wasn't me who did this you can't edit twitter really no you can't yeah i think twitter polls i think i i know it sucks for the people who don't have twitter Get Twitter. It's uh, awesome. Uh, Twitter is awesome, first off. It's way better than Facebook ever, ever <laughs> could imagine to be. <laughs> I mean, Twitter's the silent killer now. It's, yeah. yeah. Just holding vine well, under Facebook the water right now. Well, Facebook fucking censors their shit now. Yeah, Facebook is a bunch of scum. And also, like, it prioritizes certain posts. Yeah. It prioritizes if they're on Facebook, if they have an image. It prioritizes, like, and what you can friends pay. you want to listen to. And you can pay to have certain posts prioritized, too. And if you don't yeah. click on, like, a certain friend's post, you stop following them after a while. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's, yeah. like, it's like, kind of wrong. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter doesn't do that. Twitter lets it all out. Twitter's, like, open, and it's yeah. cool. And you know what? Facebook is so spam-filled now. Like, we know Twitter has a ton of spam, but... Yeah, it does. My God, how many fucking Middle Eastern people are going to follow the Nude Clan page? Nothing against <laughs> any of you that are actually like listening. See some of your nudes. But come the fuck on. Yeah, no, seriously. Someone the other oh, day was... come the fuck on. Someone the other day was like, hey... And I was like, hey, man, what's up? He's like, can you send nudes? I'm like, fuck you. How many do you like, want? Do you know like, that this is a <laughs> like, podcast did you look at the? Games? Did you look at the page, you fucking retard? <laughs> it's just like, he Jesus. just comes up to this random like page. Hey, can you see me nudes? He doesn't know if he's going to get this giant dick pic. Maybe that's Yeah, I should have done that. I should have sent him a picture of my cock. You should have like, yeah, a picture like? of that candle, the yellow one that's shaped like a cock. Yeah, I'll have it in my pants, though. I'm like, <laughs> coming out. Like, you know, my, <laughs> I got the Simpsons fine. disease. You're, you're John disease. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I got penis jaundice. Just, just light it up, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it burns when I pee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's uh, disgusting, because when it burns, you know it's going to, like, a little bit of wax is going to go off the, the side. <laughs> yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> Yellow wax just oh dripping God. on the floor. All yeah. right. Well you, well, you know what? We should probably talk about the game. All right. Probably. Let's, uh, let's talk about Silent Hill.
Silent Hill was released in North America on January 31st, 1999. Oh, God. It is a survival horror game developed for the is PlayStation 1. I feel like it's more of a puzzle game. The game was developed by Team horror. Silent and yeah, published by Konami. Puzzle. Silent Hill features a third-person camera view and offers fully 3D environments. It's considered a defining title in the survival horror genre due to its concentration on psychological horror and the fact that you play an everyday, regular, normal guy rather than a trained killer. (laughs) (laughs) Another interesting fact is the fog. The developers actually used the in-game fog to mask the hardware limitations of the PlayStation. That was obvious. (laughs) While also adding to the atmosphere of Silent Hill. The game has received positive reviews and was a commercial success at the time, and it currently is writing an 86 on Metacritic. That's pretty good. Not too bad from the amount of bitching you guys do about it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't bitch. It was Caleb. Yeah. The story revolves around a man named Harry and his daughter Cheryl. Have you seen a little girl? They are heading out on vacation, and just before driving into the town of Silent Hill, he swerves off the road to avoid hitting another little girl. Upon waking up, he realizes that Cheryl is missing and sets out to find her. We meet up with Sybil Bennett, who is a police officer who works in a nearby town. Oh, and uh, yeah, there's monsters running around trying to kill you the whole fucking time. Harry also meets Dahlia Gillespie, Dr. Michael Kaufman, director of Silent Hill's Alcamilla Hospital, and we meet Lisa Garland, who also works there. We find a symbol that keep we keep running into the symbol scattered around the town, and Dahlia claims it will allow the darkness to take over the town if it continues to multiply. She then reveals that the girl we swerved to avoid earlier is a demon. A demon! And oh. is responsible for the symbol's Matt duplication. Demon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Delia also Matt urges Harry to stop Damon. the demon because if he doesn't, Cheryl will die. Sybil, the police officer from earlier, then asks Harry in a Resident Evil esque zombie fashion. Oh, attacks Harry, sorry. So it's. <laughs> he uh, asks him. Yeah. Asks <laughs> him. <laughs> Resident Evil zombie. <laughs> Uh, is this, is this okay? Do you feel violent? Polite chat. Can I, can I do this? Dude, stop! So at this point, you have either two options. You can either gun the bitch down, or you can use a key item on her to restore her to normal. When the demon child reappears, she's captured within the Floros that you received earlier in the game, and Dahlia reveals that she's been using you the whole time to trap the demon. It is a phantasm of her Spoiler. daughter, Alessa, who possesses supernatural powers. Harry then wakes up in a crazy area called Nowhere, and he encounters Lisa, who we then find out is, you know, dead. And she is one of the zombies, essentially, and her face starts bleeding in this epic fucking scene. It's super memorable. Yeah. We find out via a diary entry that Lisa had actually nursed Alessa during a secret hospitalization, so she's connected to everything. And Harry finds Dahlia with Cheryl and Alessa charred. Seven years prior to the game, Dahlia apparently conducted a ritual to impregnate Alessa, a child, (laughs) with the cult's god through immolation. Alessa survives the sacrifice due to being the vessel, and it essentially renders her immortal. It has its father's eyes. Yeah. (laughs) Her, Her ability to resist the ritual caused her soul to be bisected. So one half of her soul went to Cheryl, the daughter that we are trying to find the whole fucking game. And Dahlia cast a spell to draw Cheryl back to Alessa, and Alessa created the symbols that we found around town to prevent the birth. Now, the really interesting part about this game's story is the multiple endings that can occur, and it kind of depends on whether or not you do... It's like the way you do the side quests and if you do the side quests. So um, there's a part where you can save Sybil. We talked about where you can either kill her mm-hmm. or you can use an item that you picked up called Agla Fotis, something like that. And you pick that up and bottle it earlier. I put my mouth on that. And uh, <laughs> What are you talking about, Cameron? Oh, 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 oh. It's essentially... <laughs> Don't play with my puff, pal. It's essentially something you use to dispel uh, demons. <laughs> And it grants you protection against the demons. Um, one of the uh, the worst ending that you can get, the one that Caleb Craig got in the game, Ooh, is the when you one. is when you do essentially nothing. Yeah, nothing at all. Unless uh, electrocutes Dahlia and then attacks Harry. We defeat her, and we hear Cheryl's voice thanking Harry for freeing her. Unless it vanishes, Harry collapses, and then 
the game shows us his uh, his dead body. He's basically lying unconscious in the car, so it's as if this entire thing was a dream sequence, which I thought was kind of a cool uh, a cool idea. The Bad Plus ending shows a living Sybil and a missing Kaufman after Cheryl's voice and Alessa's disappearance. Um, Sybil convinces Harry to flee. That's the one I got, so everyone got out. In the good ending, Sybil dies. Kaufman shows up with the bottle of Aglafotis, and he uses it to force the deity out of the daughter Alessa. It's revealed that Kaufman uh, did ally with Dahlia, in hospitalizing her, and in most of the endings, this Kaufman guy gets killed by uh, the doctor, the nurse, Lisa. Yeah, Lisa. So cool stuff. I like the uh, I like the idea that there's multiple endings. There's a joke ending in the game too, where Harry gets abducted by aliens. The UFO <laughs> one. Is yeah. there one ending that's like a canon ending? I think it's the no. There's a few of them that could be the canon ending because I know there's sequels to this game. They don't connect apparently. They don't connect. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily. Oh, is it just like the style there's... of gameplay that connects them, or the girl is in them? The, the good plus girl. is canon. Oh, is that what it story. is? Yeah. Oh, the, the but good plus. Describing any further would spoil another. Game so the, the good series. plus. Okay. Harry escapes with Sybil and the baby, so the birth happens. Both good endings show a transformed Lisa preventing Kaufman from leaving and throwing him into a pit. So that's that's the canon ending, I guess. It is. All but, right. Uh, so I know... I, they're all cool, though, and they all technically work. At least in as far as I'm respects, concerned. Yeah. Harry doesn't reoccur in the series, as far as I know. So... What did you guys think of the story? Uh, Greg? Uh, I thought the one that I got was pretty good, where uh, it just ends up with him dead. Yeah, he man, um, piece of shit. <laughs> well, I mean, the entire time during the game, he's always like, I'm wondering if this is just a dream. He says that like 40 times <sighs> throughout his like exploration. Yeah, it's a, t- a toss-up between that and, have you seen a little girl? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like seven years old, has black hair, and then he doesn't say anything after that, and they're like, uh, just I assume she She's your daughter. Population. <laughs> like, no, dude, she's, they, they literally, uh, your daughter? Like, they question it because they're like, why are you asking about this? Have you seen a little girl? Because like, he doesn't say, uh, I'm missing my candy. daughter. Have you seen her? You or like, have you movie, seen kid? <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I'm looking for a little girl. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of bizarro. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, yeah, the entire time he's just going through and, like, all these things are weird and they're, uh, then he's just, like, confused about whether it's real or not, especially when he, like, goes back and forth between, like, nowhere and uh, what's the real world. Yeah. The other world. So, the, yeah. So it makes sense that he's just, like, dead the whole time. Well, what do you think of the story overall, not just the ending? Uh, overall, there's some kind of weird stuff, things in the in the game, so I'm just going to give it an 8. Yeah, I just oh, lazy. so a good one. Yeah, it's a, it's good, but it's like weird. All right, Jake, time. is there anything you yeah. want to add since you played it along with us? Yeah, it's very interesting and it intrigues you, but the way it is told and lack there of information as you're going along without actually having to look it up later is the problem within its story. But huh. it's still interesting enough to keep you wanting to keep playing through it. Okay. Okay. What How are you did- gonna? What would you give the story then? Probably six or a seven. I'd say a seven because the fact that it's still got some structural problems. Well, right. Like what? It doesn't provide enough information to make sense of it unless you go through multiple playthroughs and, and unless look you look. <laughs> yeah. And you look up everything. You view every single journal entry. entry yeah. Look there's... at all the photos in every single sign within the game. Uh, okay. So you really have to look and dig into it. Is that like the Destiny it, story where you have to go read up on it? Is it that bad? <laughs> well, yeah, in some ways. <laughs> because it doesn't flat out just tell you this, 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 and this happened. It kind of skims a little bit on the details and leaves you to kind of figure it out. Well, one thing I, I thought was really cool was the people we were fighting in the town, um, them being like fucked up. The and apparitions. Yeah, and uh, I felt that I was killing actual people when I was playing this thing, and <laughs> I think I was, actually. Yeah, uh, it kind of it made that kind of clear when you were in the school and you were shooting down what looked like children. Yeah, hopefully it was <laughs> children. Um, 
But uh, no, I'm what? How can I go with the alien abduction ending? Like what? It, <laughs> that one's just like total that joke. In? It doesn't at all. It's just they had a suggestion box for their staff, and that was one of the suggestions was a UFO, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, let's put it in. Like, how did you do yeah, it? Like, sense. you just have to go somewhere. All of a sudden, you're gone. You ha- yeah, you use an item in a particular location. And, uh, Various locations. Yeah, and the uh, the UFO takes you away. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty funny looking. But uh, yeah, no. So that is the case, right? You are killing actual people, but they are possessed. They are so apparitions of Alessa. Okay, so they're not real then. No. Okay. She's basically putting out everything that she's fearful of. Every single thing in. So she's afraid of kids. She was knives. afraid of the little children with knives. Uh, yeah, because who she isn't? Was, <laughs> She was an outcast, and she was picked on in the school. Oh, okay. So she has a fear for the kids. When she was in the hospital, she's being bandaged up and being afraid of the nurses. All right, all right. Every single creature's design in this game is based off one of her fears. See, and I think that's so awesome. She was By afraid the, of dogs and pterodactyls? Fleshless dogs, yes. yeah. A lot of the pictures that are in her room <laughs> when she was being tortured by her mom are in there. She had pictures of moths and oh yeah, bugs that's and right. creatures by her bedside during. So all of it's like a psychological thing where everything around her is something that she despises and is afraid yes. of because so of she, the mental damage she went through in a certain place with those images <laughs> present. Yeah, so she manifests them into this other world. Yeah, it's okay. fucking crazy, is what it is. Um, I'm gonna give the story. I'm gonna give the story a. Mm, I'll give it a seven as well. A seven. Okay. It's not the best, but it is interesting enough to keep you going along. And I did want to find out what happened, but the way it was told, I agree. It's kind of it leaves a lot out, and it would require a bunch of playthroughs to really catch everything. And there are some stuff that I wasn't really one hundred percent sure on when I finished, which, oh, not necessarily the best telling of the story. So mm, okay. All right. Uh, so, what about gameplay? How does this game play? Because I've n- I've never seen Silent Hill being played. I know there's like walking around, sort of Resident Evil style. But is this a fighting game? Is this just sort of like a puzzle mystery game? What kind of game is it? <laughs> well, it's a survival. It's a puzzle mystery game. It's a survival horror it's, game. And, it's a bit of both, <laughs> and thus it must have puzzles and mystery. No, it's it's entirely puzzles. That's all it is. Yeah. What, yeah. what kind of puzzles <laughs> like? Explain to someone who hasn't seen this game played. Okay, played. so there's this one puzzle in the school where you're supposed to solve on like a piano by playing certain <laughs> notes. And the only clue that you have is like the uh, music sheet on this like chalkboard. And it like is telling a weird story about birds and the color of the birds are your key and clue to which thing you're supposed to press, like whether it's like the black key or a white key. And it's talking about how far they flew, like telling you basically like where on the piano you're supposed to hit. Yeah. And that's like it. That's all you get is a clue. And so you're supposed to just fucking dick around with it trying to like kind of guess what the answer is (laughs) until it just like plays and then you get it. I uh, once it was kind of hinted at in my chat, I was like, oh, okay. It, they told it, me exactly what I needed to do. The hint was awesome, but I just, I didn't, I was focusing on the wrong spot when yeah. it came to that puzzle. A lot of the puzzles are, have you played Mist, Joe? Nope, but I get it. It's in lieu of that. Right. It's similar in that. It's a poem that gets told to you on the chalkboard. Oh. And the type of birds that are described in the poem are all black. Are black or white. Yeah, yeah. So to symbolize like the black or white or keys. crows, or and the, stuff like the that. keys ended up being uh, the ones that don't make any sound. Because and there's one yeah. hint in there that mentions silence. Yeah, yeah. at yeah. the beginning of the poem, the title yeah. of the poem wow. is silent. Wow, if you were not looking up clues online, that sounds like it's that would have taken a while. Uh, it's old it, school. It, like it kind that. of tells you exactly what you're supposed to do, but it's really cryptic. Yeah, about and it. you <laughs> and you read too far into it sometimes. That's yeah. what I did. It's, yeah, it's, uh, there's another one where it gives you a list of people and it's like hey what's the code and there's a little plaque next to it and I oh where you're supposed to do it by their ages yeah yeah there's that one and then there's one that's like the their first name and then I I was like oh, fucking yeah. around with the like first, first letter of their first name according to what age they were yeah, on yeah, yeah. death's list yeah. and then I and then I like I was fucking around with first and last then just last and then I like looked at first name and it I can't remember what the word was alert alert, alert. Yeah. and I was like god fucking damn it it's alert isn't it and then I go type it in and it is I'm like fuck 
Yeah. That should have been the first thing. And then there's another cool one that's the uh, Zodiac puzzle. And I was thinking, all right, so we got the signs of the Zodiac. They're going to be oh, numbered based on the months, right? Zodiac speaking. And then I look at it, and I try to type it in, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And then I'm sitting there looking at it, and like I notice that, okay, it looks like maybe it's based on like the number of limbs they have. And then I start looking at that, and that wasn't right. Uh, or no, it was like something else. It was ear or heads. I can't remember what no, I thought it, it was. No, it was the limbs. But it ended up being yeah, the yeah. appendages. And then someone, I think it was Skull, or someone in the chat mentioned, like, maybe it's that. Like, right as I was looking at the one with two, and I was like, I I'm think telling it's... him to shut up. Like, I'm like, I think, it, up. I think it is that. <laughs> and so I, I went in, and it was it was right. So it's weird. There's some weird gameplay elements. And there's also tank controls in it, which are... Oh, yeah. Fucking tank so controls. So it looks like Resident Evil. Does it also play like Resident Evil? Yeah, but I would say yeah, it's... Kind of, but this is easier. Its controls are worlds above Resident Evil 1s and yeah. about on par with Resident Evil 2s. I feel like they're about the same. I've never played Resident You're, Evil 2, so I can't say. Explain Clunk. Okay, so... Well, okay. For a good uh, thing here, at the very beginning of the game, you uh, get put into this little area where you're supposed to grab this radio before you leave the diner. And it puts you between a table and, an, and like, a chair, and you have, like, no space between these things... At all. You're familiar with that. Yeah, there's, there's just fucking nothing, <laughs> all right? So it's really hard to maneuver in this tiny little area, and it's like a mini hallway, because the desks and chairs, like, keep going on for a little bit. And so as soon as you fucking pick that thing up, a fucking pterodactyl breaks through the window and starts fucking you in the face, and you're just supposed to, like, get out of the area... <laughs> to, like, run away from it. I killed it, man. Well, it's, I did eventually, too, but I didn't realize that I had to equip the knife or the gun. I thought it, like, kind of auto-did it for me Yeah. when I first fucking did that. And I was like, what the shit? And you, like, you have to... And you can't really turn because he's, like, slowly turning yeah. like a fucking jackass while he's getting penetrated by like, a fucking like a dinosaur. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the tank controls, it's really... it's. You turn. You, the controls are based on where the character in the game is facing. So if you press forward and there, the screen features them in the center coming towards you, they will walk towards you. Instead of pressing down to do that motion, you have to press forward. Yeah, if you press down, he just walks backwards. Yeah, he'll walk like backwards. Like a dumbass. It's, he based on, it's based on their perspective, uh, which makes it kind of a pain in the ass, but I, it is a lot smoother than Resi 1. It's it, way smoother. It became yes. way better as soon as I figured out there was a way to auto-turn around. Yeah, and, uh, and the aiming is a lot better, too. It auto-aims. It yeah, aims. it auto-aims, and it usually goes for the head, which is nice. But there's still times where it does become difficult when you're running. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're running the gun is not so. I'm saying it's a game There's... that plays like Resident Evil, and you can't move and shoot. Yeah. No, you can't. You can. Move you, can. Move you can run oh, and can? shoot. Yeah. yeah. So it's better than Resident Evil. Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> you can sidestep while shooting as well, and your it features a 180 degree turn, so you can flip around and actually start shooting. But see, something. what doesn't make sense here is Harry's a regular dude, and he can move and shoot. Yeah, but Chris With and everyone no else from training. Resident Evil One can't move and shoot. Resident yes. Evil Two, they can't move limitations. and shoot. Three, they're, they're can't trained to just shoot. shoot down a, a little thing in a hallway. Is it? Oh, I'm sorry. We're talking about Resident Evil and its connection to this game in terms of how it looks and kind of how it feels. Yeah. Right? Uh, who made this game? It was uh, Konami. 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 Yep. Okay, so that's not the same company. No, Capcom no. made Resident Evil. All Konami right. wanted to during the development to make a game of similar success as Resident Evil. Yeah. Early in development. Uh, I did don't they? think they did. But <laughs> no, they eventually didn't. But they, <laughs> the this is a game that is them. beloved, though, so it's, yes. it's got a big fan base. But I, know, not, I know there's a movie based on it that we're going to be watching. Oh, yeah. Point. Sean yeah. Bean, baby. <laughs> Sean Bean's in that movie? Yeah, he yeah. is. Oh, man. All it's right. a pretty well, good movie. I, no comment. Yeah, I won't say. Uh, so probably. probably. <laughs> There's like an 80% chance of that, though, based on everything else. <laughs> His past movies. Yeah. Well, what'd you think of the gameplay overall? I mean, think controls and mystery and everything, you know, put together. What, what, what do you feel about it? Um, well, the puzzles... They weren't really that bad. I mean, they were kind of... They told you what to do, so, like, you could figure it out. I mean... If you uh, didn't go online and do it, you probably could have figured it out. Yeah. Um... 
the hardest one in there for me was the was the piano one. Oh yeah, I agree. Um, Fuck that. Other than that, I didn't really have too much trouble. So the the puzzles were pretty good. I didn't mind them, but there were so many, and there was like a lot of fetching to go finish puzzles. Yeah. So that was kind of annoying. Um, and then just the tank controls in general were really bad until I figured out there was like an auto flip, and even then it was still yeah. kind of annoying. All right. Because there's not really a way to dodge. Like, the moves that the bosses were doing, especially, like, the fucking moth or, like, the god at the fucking end. Yeah. Or it's, like, zapping you with lightning. There's no way to fucking dodge that. You yes, just gotta, like, heal in between. You keep running around in circles. Oh, and I you tried. Can oh, I tried. Strafe. Shirk and circle strafe. Yeah, be dude, fine. it's the Legend of Zelda. It's the Legend of Zelda tactic, <laughs> yes. but like you, can't, I couldn't fucking do it. He like kept zapping me. I just gunned the bitch down. I oh, I did too. But he was just like, I just reloaded in the menu and blasted. Went fucking emperor on me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so you're talking about tank controls, but this game came out in what? 90... 1999. Yeah, 99. Okay, mm-hmm. is it? Comparable with the time, or is it bad for even back then, you think? Um, Given your knowledge. I would say it was pretty good. Knowledge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, I've played a little bit of the first Resident Evil, and that's super bad. Way worse than this. It is. It came um, out before this, though. Yeah, but not that long before. Um, and they did add in like a, a quick flip around, which is really nice for that game. Yeah. Um, it was really useful at certain points. Uh, it's because you, other than that, you have to, like, turn around by, like, a really slow process. And so hey, that was really just aggravating. Um, so I would say that given what they had, they did pretty good. Okay. Because other than, like, just running around was fine. Um, you moved at a pretty good speed. Uh, covered the map really quickly, and then, yeah. So I, what would, I would you give it? Was, uh, gameplay, I would give probably another eight. Another eight out of ten. Yeah. So pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. All right, Jake. All right. I believe it is very well for the time in '99. Okay. It does a great job with the 3D camera to really bring in the atmosphere for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does use that left stick for the or the. One of the right sticks, sticks you can move the camera around. Yeah, you can move the yeah. camera around and let you see a little more, which is nice. Although, given the fog, it didn't let you see that much more, but... <laughs> no. Still. <laughs> so, other than that, it pretty much holds up over time very well. Okay. Yeah, so. I, it wasn't really hard for me to play other than that first part where I was stuck between chairs. Uh, it would, it would, I would say it's on par <laughs> <laughs> with, yeah. with some uh, later games. This is boring. I can just see it. Now. it it's better than uh, some Dude, some the- Resident Evil games. It's better. better than Resident Evil One's controls by far. I will give you that. I don't think it's better than Two's because they're essentially yeah, I feel the same. Like it's thing. better than Five's <laughs> controls. Yeah. No, I don't like Five. Five no. is garbage. I tried playing that with you for like three hours and I couldn't get a hang of it. Well, that's. <laughs> That's you. It's great. No, fuck you. It's five. Uh, five is garbage. But also things to add into the gameplay is the radio. Oh, it yeah. It really adds to the atmosphere as well. Whenever yeah, something lets you comes, know when something's near. Yeah, it does. So that really helps to set an eerie tone for the rest of the game. All right. What would you give the gameplay? Nine. Nine out of ten. So very good. Schweiss? You know, I I thought the gameplay was good. It was a little bit rough in the beginning. It's always tough going back to some of these older games, but I'm not a bitch, so I did it. <laughs> Fuck and yeah. I got used to the I got used to the tank controls. Um, it it takes time though. Like I said, it's not something we're used to anymore. But honestly, when I did start it out, I that's one of the first things I said. I was like, you know what? This isn't the best, but it's still better than Resident Evil One's tank controls by a long shot. So yeah. I can do this because I played most of Resident Evil 1. I never finished it. But uh, the problem I ran into with that game, though, is I played Resident Evil 2 first, <laughs> which also tankish, kind of like this game, really close. And then I played one that is... it. The you're literally worse. a tank. It's yeah. fucking horrible. You have to, like, move... The, the, and every, which everybody else is like way faster. Yeah, no one else is a fucking tank. It's just you. It's like Tank Wars, where everyone else is like a fucking a mech suit, and you're a tank. tank you're just wars. a little bitch. Gotta get the tank. Uh, but I did love the. Uh, I love the combat. I thought the tank boss wars. fights were a lot of fun. 
I liked the uh, giant worm thing. That thing killed me a few times, but you had to like shoot it when it opened its mouth. Mm-hmm. I thought that yeah. was fun. I uh, I enjoyed the. I enjoyed the weapons. I liked that giant axe or that pickaxe looking thing that I got. Oh, Ice yeah. pick. That was way nice. I gored those fucking nurses, dude. Yeah. I hit like two of them. They like lined up and you can hit two of them at once. Yeah, that thing takes, nice. it takes forever to aim, but it's awesome. The melee. Honestly, I with my uh, really horrible short term memory, I the rooms were a pain in the ass. If I didn't have mm-hmm. a map, I was like, "Fuck, dude!" Yeah, those I took those for, maps were super useful. I took forever to get anywhere because I didn't have the map on oh, yeah. the final area. Does this all lost take a couple place times. in? It just takes place in a town, a and town, you're going yeah. through the town. Yeah, yeah. is it yeah. linear? Uh, yeah, Some sort of. There's side quests linear. that you can do. You can go to different areas okay. and find items. Well, I'm wondering, is it like an open map and you just go into different houses? And- no. Yeah, there's specific well, houses of. though, and there are certain okay. places you can go into that just have optional items. Like you can go get more health, more ammo. Yeah, one of the first, the first thing that you get uh, that you're told to do is go to like the school, be, and uh, like I tried to discover every single fucking road. Yeah, because like it basically you get like this tiny little grid, and so I tried to go down every road so I could get to the fucking school. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, well, I can't go that way because the fucking road's collapsed. And, and it, it looks like there was a fucking nuke that went off yeah. in the <laughs> middle of the fucking road because it's like a 50-foot hole. Yeah, another great part about the gameplay in this game is the map updates for you. Um, you have a map, and whenever you run into a spot that you can't cross, there's like a red X on it. Yeah, it tells So you, you know you there. can't go that way. It's a yeah. progressive map. Yeah, and when like someone's like, hey, you need to go to the school, the guy circles the school, so you like remember where you need to go in case you got distracted or yeah, or you stop playing a little bit. Yeah, and you yeah, like it that you remember. Yeah, which that was is pretty nice. Which is a problem with older games, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, you don't remember where you're supposed to go or what you were doing. Yeah, I'm like, I don't fucking know what I was doing in this game There's unless no you memorize it and beat it in two hours. Of course, yeah. Of course. yeah. <laughs> um, which you can do in this game. Jake beat it in like no time. I how, how long did it take you to beat it, Jake? About. Yeah, this time it was about three hours, but the quickest I've ever done is about an hour. Ten Jeez, minutes, dude. And it took me like ten hours. Yeah, I looked on how long to beat. The average was like eight. <laughs> I was slow because I couldn't get down. And you know, the gameplay fucks with you when you're in the nowhere area. Oh, yeah. When you come out of a door, it's not a standard. It's not just like a randomly or no pre-rendered um, image of the rooms, the mm-hmm. hallway. It's Resident from Evil. you. It's like you. Okay, you you come in a door and it shows it like from your perspective almost. So like you don't I don't remember which door I came in before. <laughs> it's just doors. There's just fucking doors everywhere and I'm like, "Oh my god, dude. There's nothing to And I'm deviation. trying to stream it so I'm like, "Fuck, I look like a retard." I'm like <laughs> and I, yeah. It's the end times, <laughs> dude. But it's crazy. It's it and that's a it's frustrating for me because I have horrible horrible short-term memory with games, especially when the doors all look the same. <laughs> well, the one thing that was nice is if you killed all the enemies, they didn't respond, so you didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, them. that's true. But uh, that I think the confusing nature of the cameras adds to the gameplay. It adds to the weirdness of the town. Like, where did I come from? Where am I going? Like, Yeah, especially was, in that nowhere where area. It was from? deliberately made that yeah. way during development. <laughs> to and yeah, I, to I give feel a like, sense of dread and confusion. Yeah, I feel like I definitely had the sense of confusion. Uh, maybe not so much dread. <laughs> the land of confusion. Uh, I am going to give the gameplay... I'll give it a 9 as well. I thought it was really good. Um, but did you notice that like some of the enemies had different levels of like resistance to your attacks? Uh, yeah, there were stronger ones, yeah. Yeah, like, they're, like you could tell with the nurses by like what clothes they were wearing. Yeah. yeah. The squeaky dudes, kind of I hate it, dude. I hate it running into those little squeaky shadow guys. They oh, freak yeah. me out. It's they're, like, they're like the children, just like without the knife. Yeah, they're like children the that are... Children. They're writing on like a fucking whiteboard, like with a really squeaky <laughs> marker, a brand yeah. new marker. It's just like a fucking chew toy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so, so now it's the design. Design. So the look of the game. It's shit. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, both graphically great. and artistically. Uh, graphically, it was pretty good. Uh, they used the the fog and a lot of darkness to cover up uh, their lack of wanting to um, polygons, lack of polygons. Yeah, yep. that, and you know, you could, <laughs> and it added to the game uh, for sure. But like, then they had like all the snow coming down too for like yeah. no reason. Yeah, it was. So you like trash. randomly mentioned that too. It's like, oh, it's snowing, and that's weird, and it's out of season. Huh. <laughs> yeah. 
like, yeah. This is the only time they fucking sick. mentioned that, and I was like, ah. Uh, it's okay. like, no, nah, this is just Utah. It's, it's season. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in July. This is just random. Uh, when I lived in Colorado as a kid, it, it snow- I remember it snowing in like mid June. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, so it's, it's just it happens. Silent Hill, Colorado. Where you're at. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but there, there is some interesting stuff. They do make it like really creepy. There's like fucking blood everywhere. There was one thing that I came upon that was like um, a basketball hoop that was covered in blood, like on the square. And there was like a fucking dog's head laying on the ground. Like yeah. knew that they were shooting hoops with a fucking dog's head. <laughs> that is <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, yeah. That is I was awesome. like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, who thought of this? Um, just stuff like that, and then all the little enemy designs, like the fucking dogs look like they were all, they warped and lost their hair and were like zombies. I thought they were flayed. That's what I thought. Yeah, it kind of looks, looks like that. To yeah, <laughs> <and then> just, <laughs> just fucking, like, yeah, it was just fucking blood everywhere, and yeah. just, it was really creepy, and there was like no people, and then the static from the radio letting you know our enemies were near, but you couldn't really see them because of the fog, and then they just fucking appear out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty so good. So it was effective. Yeah. And it also looked good for the time. Yeah, it does. It, like, what little you could see, like, really looked pretty good, like, all the buildings and stuff, and then even your character looks pretty good for... 1999 so what do you think about the look of the game jake i think it's phenomenal a lot of it is horror influenced and every single one of the creatures just brings forth a set of just dread and fear every single one of these creatures yeah especially when you can't aim at them because the game is clunky but yeah oh yeah and then even when you're in like nowhere (laughs) and everything looks like all rusted and like old and weird and shit yeah it's and, like, all the, like, in the hospital, there's, like, the warped beds that look like they've been bloodied and, like, oh, have all this shit on them and, like, all the walls and <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is Spear. fucking, like, yeah, it's, like, gross looking <laughs> along with just being, like, disgusting in every way. It's gross looking along with being disgusting. Well, yeah. 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 Wow. It's, yeah. Both, yeah. Both of those Is things. it also grody? Uh, I would say yes. Okay. Yeah, it would, it would also be that. Because a gross, grody. And I disgusting. also pointed this out in the story part, but it goes hand in hand with her apparitions of why these creatures look as demonic as they do. Yeah. And it takes influence into that. It does, yeah. Oh, and then there was that one fight with the the lizard in the in the school where you like could only see stuff by like the burning body. That was pretty cool when you walk oh, into the yeah, room yeah. and there's that like corpse that's on fire and then like all of a sudden you see the fucking lizard thing and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. That looked pretty it good. It comes out of nowhere. <laughs> it does. You just like, all you can see is like this tiny little lit room by a fucking burning body in the middle of it and it's really like good looking. So to me, the one thing that like makes this game look interesting is the screenshots I've seen of the game. It looks very unique. It looks very dark and broody and kind of creepy looking. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I think as far as what I'm hearing, I'm hearing clunky controls. I know you guys gave the, the game a, a good score. But what I'm hearing is clunky controls, uh, a confusing story that's kind of cool, but then the look of the game, it really like adds a lot to yeah, it. Yeah, the look of the game is where it excels. Yeah. Okay. I agree with that. I think that uh, all of the designs have a... You know, they have a purpose. I loved going in between regular Silent Hill and Nowhere, which is like the dream version where the apparitions happen. Yeah, it, sometimes it doesn't even give you like any warning that it's yeah. happening. Suddenly everything's just covered with blood or rusty and it just looks like hell, essentially. Yeah. And I felt like uh, the design is really probably one of the best parts about this game. So I'm going to give the design a 10. Cause Did you give it a score, Jake? Not it's yet. Phenomenal. What it's a 10. Think? It's a 10. Yeah, I'll mirror that. Okay. Triple tens for design. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. What about the sound and music? Uh, sound yeah. designs, <laughs> voice acting. Ooh. And then on top of that, the music, <laughs> if there is any in the game. Uh, there is music, and it's all really creepy and scratchy, and it's uh, meant to be... Uh, and like an ambiance for just horror and like wherever ambiance. you're going. So it sounds like you when you're asleep. Yeah, exactly like that, actually. Yeah. Like, you can hear all the enemies and, like, the fucking pterodactyl. You'll just, like... 
<laughs> like seriously, you He's hear, got it. You, you hear, exact, yeah, that's sound. the exact fucking sound you hear for their wings. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> mocking mockingbird here yeah Good job. it's fucking great um but yeah like all the sounds like uh and then the static from the radio yeah uh like everything in this game is like designed to like be uh horror based and you can really feel that in the game through it's like not only the the visuals but the sound as well um but the the voice acting it's not, that, it's not that great, probably because of the lines, but, like, Harry's just always like, have you seen a little girl? She's seven years old. Is it just because it's repeated too much? Um, yes. That is, yeah, it's repeated oh, okay. with literally every single person that he meets, um, yeah. and they all kind of seem like it's weird of him to be yeah, asking you're right. that. You're right. He should be like, oh, in his own head, he should be like, I need to mix up how I ask this question. <laughs> After three no, times in a row. <laughs> it's the exact same question to every person, and they literally question what he's looking for. Like, <laughs> I assume it's your daughter. <laughs> We'd like to assume. Uh, yeah, because he's like, he talks to the police officer lady. He's like, yeah, I'm looking for a little girl. And she's like, your daughter, right? <laughs> like uh, not because well, uh, yeah, I'll not give you the benefit something. of the doubt. Oh, and then the fucking well, cop just real quick is a fucking <laughs> dumbass. She meets this total total stranger, and she's like, "All right, here, have my gun." After a small conversation. <laughs> yeah, after a small conversation. Oh well, I guess if you're going out there, uh, here's my I gun. Know, Protect that, yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, this is the wrong category to talk about that. I, I that's know. That's with but, the writing. Yeah, that's and that's, that's the story, writing, but. but uh, yeah, I just had to because okay. I remembered that. But were clearly. the performances the actors adequate? Uh, yeah, for what it was, they were pretty good. But other than like a lot of repeated lines, it's just weird. And then the uh, um, fuck, what's the weird nun's lady name again? Uh, Dahlia. Yeah, Dahlia. Oh, She's like over the top a little bit sometimes. It was foretold by gyromancy. Yeah, like that's the first thing that she says when you meet her, and it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. And literally, all he says to her is like, what? What are you even saying? I don't understand. Like every single time she says anything. <laughs> all right, <sighs> Jake. What did you think of the sound of music? The music is very atmospheric. It it doesn't have a formal soundtrack of any kind. It's okay. a whole bunch of ambient noise, All right. which adds to the gameplay. Okay. What did you think of the voice acting? And, the voice acting and the has got problems. noises within the game. But it is still worlds beyond Resident Evil 1s. Right. That is true. Yes. Uh, from what I've heard... <laughs> the takeaway for this anything. game is yeah. that it's Everything better than Resi 1. <laughs> hey, fuck you. We're not saying that at all. Uh, yeah. That's exactly when, what we've been saying. It's just yes. better in terms of voice acting and controls. That's it. That's all when we've said. We've said. <laughs> That's all we've said. <laughs> when the composer was making this soundtrack and it was being the audio was being presented to the rest of the development team, everybody thought it was a game bug. They were expecting a formal soundtrack, and then all of a sudden you get these high pitched squeals, like on the end boss, where it just blows your fucking eardrums oh, out. Fucking yeah! I was yeah. like, "What is that sound?" I thought it was the stream fucking up. I'm like, "Dude, dude, what is that?" Yeah, and then you get all the alarms and shit throughout the game. Yeah, and yeah, sirens. Yeah. yeah, so it makes sense how they were like, "Okay, this is a game bug," and Akira, the composer's like, "No, this is part of it." Yeah. So, this is it, art. Yeah, <laughs> this is art. And that was pretty good, camera. I like. And it fits like the that. game perfectly. <laughs> All right, so what are you guys gonna give the uh, the sound music and sound? Um, I'll give it an eight. The music was really good, but this the voice acting, and everything else and takes it down a little bit. All right, Jack. I will knock down one point for the voice acting, but a nine. I will also give it a nine. Um, I thought the the soundtrack really went and drove the atmosphere home, and it made the gameplay what it is. And honestly, the sound is probably three fourths of the part that freaked me out. Like yeah, this game exactly. playing oh, it, it was to, really creepy. Playing it at night, really dark. It, it yeah, got me a few times. I was the, like, uh, in it. The I music was, uh, got me a little bit more than everything else did on occasion. Yeah, so. the music and the fog and the fact that you can't fucking see anything in this thing. Or move. Or move <laughs> in, a, in a coherent fashion. Yes, it it caused me to be like a little anxious. I'm like, yes. Because whenever I play a horror game, I try to psych myself out as much as I can. Just because I know that's the intent. So that's I'll, the whole purpose. I'll play it with no lights on and just fucking 
there. I just try to get in on it, right? You're sitting and, uh, in the room with your headphones off. on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pants yeah. off. Pants off. Ice hand. bucket. Yeah. <laughs> so. But that's uh, that's kind of what I want, and I, it delivered as far as that goes. The voice acting, especially with Harry, not not great. Yeah. Uh, he's. It, it's like they had no context when they were reading the lines sometimes. it's It seems really dry. And I, it's like yeah, a computer he, programmer was like, hey, hey, Bobby, could you just yeah, read yeah these just, lines? just say this line? I will uh, say the voice acting is better than it is in Symphony of the Night, though, I think, because there are at least not a couple. the Japanese version. Well, maybe the, no, the version that you get the quality yeah. of the audio English yes, version, but the speaking of the dialogue. No. Yeah. What it doesn't the, sound uh, like you're talking into a tin can. That's true, yes. It does sound good. But they, as far as the dialogue they, is concerned, it's just as bad. They found a studio and not a small bathroom <laughs> stall like the Symphony <laughs> and the McDonald's. Night crew. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I think the sound, uh, the sounds that everything made and the music really helped deliver this game. And it was great. Will you ever replay it? Uh, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Great answer. Right. Uh, <laughs> what what the, is with, worth replaying in this with game? The rebuild, What's not? With the replayability, there is uh, multiple endings, so it might be fun to go explore those, try to find the secret uh, ending where he gets abducted by aliens. I okay. didn't know about five that. Five endings. Yeah. Five, yeah, the five endings. Um, and then... Get it right. Five Jesus. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> and then with... Uh, given how many puzzles there are and stuff, like you can... Uh, after some time of forgetting exactly what you want it, what you need to do, uh, I think that uh, it would be worth doing a replay um, just because, like, you'd have to try to figure it out again. Are you ever going to forget the piano thing, though? Because I'm not. No. No. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Some things just stick with you, and that's yeah. one of them. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But other than that, you know, uh, <laughs> the other puzzles I'll have to try to figure out again. But, you know, I think it would be worth uh, replaying at least uh, once or twice. Okay. Once or twice, okay. Yeah. Well, what do you give replayability out of 10, then? What's your what's your percent chance that you're going to uh, Give it a 7. A 7? Okay. For me, yeah. Okay. All so, right, Jacob. you know, relatively replayable. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's only so far you can go with like horror and with uh, yeah, it's it's same with like a horror movie or a thriller movie. You can if it's not Silence of the Lambs, the greatest thriller movie of all time, you can't rewatch it a ton. <laughs> Debatable. Of them a lot. I've watched Six Sense like a million times. Six Sense that is good. It's just because it's a really it turns it goes from being like this kind of scary movie the first time you watch it into like this amazing drama instead. Yeah. I, I think I think that movie's worth Joe two cries every time. I do. Dude, dude, there's, there is there is a scene when the kid is talking to the mother and he, he's talking about, you know, the powers that he has or whatever and that the bicycle has died. And it's it's a beautiful scene. That, yeah. that is the that is a cry. You know what the true beautiful scene is? Is when Anthony Hopkins pulls off that other guy's fucking face oh, that's in the a ambulance. That is a different movie. movie. Yeah. Entirely. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, but I, I think uh, Six Sense is worth two watches at the very least, so that you can catch everything the second time you watch. You'd be like, oh yeah. See, I think it's more than just the gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the problem with horror, though. Is it is the gimmick? Yeah, it's the jump right. scare, and it's like. <clears throat> It You're dies. right. I'm agreeing with you, but I'm giving exceptions. There yes. are exceptions, yeah. Exceptions to the rule, uh, for sure. So um, you're saying that this could possibly be only so many playthroughs. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it would be fun to kind of do a speed run just to see how quick you can play it. It seems yeah, like Jake has played this a lot. Jake, what do you yes. think about the replayability? There is a little bit there, but not a lot. It's not a lot. Not yeah. a lot, just yeah. enough for those little bit endings, but it only pertains itself to the Sybil event. And a side quest with Hoffman yeah, only at like the two hotel. Things. Yeah, so you could like have a save right before you do those. <laughs> and it's and bizarre because one of them, like they're they're basically based on whether or not you do the side quest and yes. collecting an item for the side quest. So yes. like it's it's really limited in what the how it actually differs as far as the gameplay goes. Yeah, the four endings are based off the two things: UFOs on itself, on its own. Yeah, but the Sybil depends on. The plus or the minus, whether or not you save her for the endings, and the good and bad portion depends on the Kaufman part. Yeah, so it's so like... aside from that, there isn't a whole lot to redo. Did you do that when you played it this last time? Did you do all of it? Yes, that's how I got and good it, plus. And it took you, what, like you said three hours? Grand total, yeah. yeah side so quest total like, was like five minutes. What pissed me off is like, I... I 
I played. I put like two hours into the game, and then I thought back, and I was like, I could do that in like ten minutes, I think. Yeah. Now that you got everything <laughs> memorized, do you understand yes. how quickly it can be? Like, I can go beaten. find the little note that tells me, "Hey, doghouse," and then I go do kind of want to see how fast somebody has done it. I think like thirty minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I could it's, see that. I could see thirty minutes. It's fucked up, dude. But. So do you want to do that, though, Jake? Yeah. So them? this is a game that you no. need to play without a guide in order to have the experience. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's only like a and couple takes things that you would forever without a guide, use. okay? Yeah. 12 but hours at least. That's its intent. How many times did you play this before playing it for this review, Jake? Three or four. So I would say that you would probably give this a pretty high replay- playability. Probably uh, about an eight. Because oh, it's that's... not perfection. Oh, okay. Because I got to dock a couple things because there isn't that much deviation per each story. Through. Yeah, like after beating it, yeah, yeah, after beating it, you get a few items you could go back and use again, like a pistol and a different melee weapon. But it doesn't bring enough to make you want to keep coming back. Plus, some of the endings they don't really change much. Yeah. Like at the end, Harry is either he escapes or he's dead. Yeah, either he get, gets the child or he's just dead in his car. And even when he does get the child, when we don't know for sure if it's, you know, actually what's happening or maybe it is him being dead. Obviously, there is one that's been canonized, so we know he escapes, but it's not it's not something that uh, it's, it's almost, clear cut. It's almost like the end of Sopranos where it's like it ends. It, that's the point is that it ended and they had to end it somehow. So ambiguous. Really, yeah, it, it is kind of ambiguous in that way. And. I don't know. It doesn't really. It doesn't add a ton to the replayability. Um, but I will. I will give it an eight as well. Okay. I think. Uh, I think it's something I want to play again. If anything, to like cut down my twelve-hour <laughs> gameplay time. That was horrendous. Because <laughs> I tried to do everything without a guide. I eventually looked up a guide one time, and it was for a map. Because I was like, okay, I know. I've been to this room. I know where the key needs to go, but I could not fucking find it. And I was, I just looked up a map online and it's like, Hey, this room's here. And I walked to it and that was it. <laughs> and I did get a couple, uh, hints sort of on the Twitch chat to help with the puzzles. But I think it would be, it's definitely something I could see myself replaying. So, all right. So, I'm going to give you guys a chance to tell us overall your thoughts on the original silent Hill. Craig boy. Craig. No, I guess it's me. Um, I guess so. You know, I I don't really play horror games, but uh, I enjoy this deviation from my normal uh, gaming. Your normal indie game regime. My normal indie game regime. Yeah. yeah I've only have like, what? It's the Batman games. I would say the Batman games are indie games. Come Fuck on. you. I mean, no, what? they're not. Wait, who is the studio that makes Rocksteady? What else have they done? I actually don't know. There was a day where you told was, me that you liked... Was it you that said Rocksteady was better than Rockstar? No. Okay, some fucker told me that one day, and I was like, are you high? Look yeah. at what Rockstar has. I don't think Rocksteady has too many games. All right, I'm just fucking with you, but... Maybe one or two before Batman, if that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed the horror aspect of the game. I and actually liked the puzzles. Uh, trying to solve those was pretty fun, uh, except for the fucking piano. Um, some of the some of the boss fights were really interesting, um, and also kind of dumb at the same time. Like when you fight the fucking moth and it just farts on you. Yeah, Mothra. Uh, yeah, <laughs> fucking Mothra. Um, the, uh, you know, other than that, I thought it was pretty interesting. Like all the the horror aspects of it. Like when you go into the school, there's like fucking children with knives. Yeah, uh, trying to give you blowjobs. Kids with knives. Oh um, yeah, that's right. They like hump your leg and like are trying yeah. They like to grab humping. you and they're just trying to give you a head, but you know it like hurts you a little bit. God, um, that is disgusting, guys. Dude, that is exactly what it fucking looks like. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed. Just gotta grab him by the pussy. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, I enjoyed the game despite some of the the little clunkiness of some of the gameplay aspects and some of the uh, you know the voice acting. But other mm-hmm. than that, I I enjoyed it. Okay, I yep. might try to play the other ones. Right. You definitely should. Yeah. Two is the best. It's the best. It is the best psychological horror survival horror game ever. You mean uh, another puzzle game? Yes. Okay. It is. Just a puzzle game. Yes. That's all it is. I think it is a great game <laughs> still to this day. And I should sneak in a couple references here since we're still discussing this part of the game. There are a ton of references in this game to horror and the signs in the streets are based off world locations. 
Hmm. And if I don't know if you guys noticed this, in both of the Caleb's here, but the names of the streets. I did notice were a the couple, names. Yes, Coons, like horror writers. Yeah. Yes, they're yeah. all horror writers. Some of which noticed. was <laughs> James Elroy, who did the Black Dahlia, and that's the reason why they named Dahlia Dahlia in the story. Uh, Era Eleven, which is Rosemary's Baby. Oh yeah, Michael Crichton. Yeah, Crichton Street. Yeah, Love Crichton one Street. There. I, I saw that one. I forgot Dean, about those. Yeah, Dean Koontz, Richard Bachman, which good horror writers would realize that's Stephen King's pen name for a couple of years. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so there's a Bachman Road, and there are a few other Stephen King references hidden within Silent Hill as part of its development and thought process. That's very cool. Did you guys catch the wall with red rum written on it? Oh, my God. I didn't see that. No, yeah, I don't think I did either. Yeah, That's, that's awesome. There. Yeah, there's a lot of those things in there. Red rum! <laughs> <laughs> and I work on that one when I'm showering. <laughs> and the ending where Harry's dead in the car is what you can take as influence to Jacob's Ladder. I where the entire thing is in his head at the end. Oh, I don't know what that is, but... It's a You've famous, never seen Jacob's it's Ladder? It's a famous movie that I haven't seen either, but nope. I, oh. I know about the ending because everybody references it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> there are a couple more. All right, go ahead. The uh, okay. three keys to the eclipse are the... Uh, what was it? The witch, the lion, and the scarecrow. Which oh, was, okay. Yeah, which was directly... I think I, I think I remember noticing that. Yes. The slate puzzle... Is Alice in Wonderland? Because yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of that's true. I do remember the Alice and the uh, writers. There are a lot of references in this thing. Yes, and the most interesting one is the school. Oh yeah, how so? Yes, the school. The very front of it, and most of the posters in it are directly referencing Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember reading wow. about yes. that. All the movies. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it adds like an extra creepy factor, I guess, to it. <laughs> but if you pull uh, up a screenshot from the front of the school in that movie, the Silent Hill one looks exactly like it. Nice. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> the That's number terrible. on the bus is the exact same. Number seven. <laughs> this game is nothing filled. original in this yeah, game. No, it's it <laughs> referenced the hell. They out pretty of much it. just like took a magazine apart, cut out. Yeah, I know. Like, this is it. Yeah. It's a collage. Yeah, it's a cut collage. Everything's just one big joke. <laughs> Yeah, overall, I thought it was a lot of fun. I would recommend it for anyone that's into survival horror or um, just classic games. Mm -hmm. Give it a little eerie atmosphere. I thought the puzzles were memorable, even if a pain in the ass at times. And the gameplay is is solid. I mean, it's uh, there's some cool boss fights, and I think it was a lot of fun. I'm glad I played it, and I am interested in playing the rest of them. Uh, so how many of you guys have played sequels to this game? I have. I only imagine Jake? only Jake. Yeah, I haven't played it. All any right, Jake, how does this stack up to sequels? Uh, it's primarily one of the better ones. Okay. Yes. The only one that's probably better than it would be two. All right. The rest of them... Is that really in general sp- most people think two is the best one? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. a big thing, yeah. Yeah. All right. The rest of them tend to get a little bit lackluster the further they go along when it changed developers and it no longer was Team Silent. Oh, yeah, that's a bad thing. Yeah, that's Konami decided to Always. have a Western after four. They wanted to have a Western team develop all of their other stuff. So they fired the original developers and And those guys went on to it. make Siren Blood Curse. Ooh. Yes. The original Siren. Yeah, yeah. Team Silent. Okay, so are you guys interested in playing the sequels at all? Uh, I playing this game. I think I want to play two. Okay. Yeah, I'd play them. I I just want to get trophies for them, but I can't come to terms there's with buying like also, the lesser version. <laughs> that, uh, there's also a remake of the original one, right? Yes, there is. It's called Shattered Memories on the Wii. Cool. On the Wii? Right. Okay, on the Wii. Never mind then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> okay, so we got our final Nude Clan scores. All right, so Silent Hill has an official rating of 84 out of 100. Woo-hoo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. A B game, baby. B That's game. pretty close to what Metacritic gave it. Yeah, Jake gave it an 86 himself. And the overall combined score between the three of us was around 85. So, so yeah. Pretty similar ratings pretty from us mind. all. Uh, definitely worth playing, but not going to be life-changing necessarily. It will change how you feel about early survival horror games, though. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that. Um, 
Yeah. All All right. Well, I think that's it for our review of Silent Hill. I do have one request for you guys before before next week. Uh, Next week is our first episode in September. So for your October hog points, points, please, guys, go into the go onto the website newclan.net, fill out the hog form. And either give us your numbers through the forum or through an email or Twitter just fill out the whatever. hog form, press send. Sometimes it has a really long loading screen. Just wait like 10 seconds. It's probably sent it and keep a copy of the number for yourself. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just a weird glitch, but we seem to always get it no matter what. Yeah, and sometimes many times. So yeah. was, You said September. So you're, I'm sorry. Out. I'm sorry. It'll be your first week in September. Your number's for October. Okay. Uh, so First week in November is what it means. Yeah. So, November. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, you That's why again. Yeah, Please yeah. give us these. <laughs> the reverse calendar, man. Yeah, anyway. Please give us these numbers. I want some competition here, folks. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I think Skull is uh, close to you, isn't he? Uh, I believe Skull is tied with you. Oh, really? Oh, that's not that, that impressive, then. <laughs> it was somebody else who posted something that is pretty close to me. Oh, okay. Anyways, so that's that's our big thing for next week. I'm sure we'll figure out what we're going to do for the nominations in the future. Yes. Uh, otherwise, uh, is there anything else we're missing? Are we done? I don't think there's anything else. Either. I think we're finished. Uh, oh, well, yeah. Thank you, Jake, for coming along with us today. We'll see yep. you guys next week. Enjoy the nude. Live always in the nude. May the list go on. Keep it super and sexy in the nude. Uh, fuck off. Yeah!